Tom. Uh, let's start, shall we, with uh, what looks like a bit of scurrilous gossip you've dug out for us <laughs> from Voici Magazine, uh, which shows François Hollande, our president, and Valérie Triveillère, his uh, ex-partner. No. Tell us more. Did I write that? That's my mistake. Oh, Julie Gaillet. Oh, Julie Gay, there you are. <laughs> but we will be talking about I'd that. I read it correctly. <laughs> we will be talking about Valerie Trueville later as well. I must correct the script. The script is off. In any case, let's take a look at the front cover of Voici, which does not feature Valerie Trueville, as I mistakenly wrote in the text. It features uh, Julie Gaillet, who is now, according to the editorial team at uh, Voici, a very uh, um, sort of... <laughs> Very uh, high highbrow bunch. Uh, it is she is a quasi official first lady, right? So they got all of these photos of her. She's sitting on the terrace there, Tom, of the presidential apartments in the Elysee Palace, and uh, various other photos were snapped of her coming and going at various points uh, in the day. And um, they point out this, of course, was the 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 the, the famous front cover of featuring uh, François Hollande in in a motorcycle helmet back in January when he was uh, secretly um, going off to see Julie Gaillet. At that time, he was still, of course, with Valerie Trueveller before it was over. C'est fini. And it has really uh, been food for fodder for, for, for uh, the, um, the uh, I suppose, the magazines such as the VS de Closer Voici. They've really been, uh, have, have had a huge amount of front covers on, on the story in the last year. A massive amount of speculation then about whether or not they went on holidays together, François Hollande and Julie Gaillet. Voici said that they didn't. Uh, Closer said that they did. That was the same week. Then there was a, a, cover, a front cover of Voici saying that Julie Gaillet ha was with somebody else that she had a new um, partner in the form of a lawyer, a Paris-based lawyer. So essentially, this is putting uh, to rest rumours that the couple uh, had gone their separate ways. And according to Vossi, they are more or less uh, an official item and she is a quasi-official first lady. So look, it's not very highbrow stuff, Tom, but it is concerning uh, the vacant position of first lady. Uh, a lot of speculation about that. Mm, there was a lot of confusion anywhere about the position of first lady because, of course, uh, François Hollande wasn't married to Valérie Trivier and she was the uh, first girlfriend uh, in some That's people's right, and uh, there's no constitutional role either of first lady. So. Precisely. But some concerns about those photos you just showed us yeah. of uh, the president and his uh, consort, mm. uh, Julie Gaillet, uh, because there's a bit of a security concern, isn't there? Well, that's right. I mean, if you may have noticed with those photos, they were taken up very close, or at least there was a, a serious zoom camera, a zoom lens camera. A lot of people wondering how they, uh, the photos were taken uh, from such a, a convenient angle was there a drone uh, with a camera kind of flown into the grounds of the Elysee Palace so you have a lot of um, uh, headlines wondering about that pictures of Hollande and actress raised security fears at the palace how did media take photos of Hollande actress and the palace and indeed those same questions were asked about security when uh, François Hollande was whizzing off on his motorbike uh, with a very very skeleton security team if any security team at all so those questions have been asked again and again in relation to uh, the relationship now some are being a little cynical, the uh, uh, UMP former, um, former I think, environment, environment minister, Chantal Juano, saying those photos looked quite staged to me. And some are saying, is it a kind of an attempt to um, cast Julie Gaillet as a potential first lady? And indeed, at Le Figaro, the right-leaning daily, they spoke to some experts on this issue who say that the French people are indeed ready to accept her as perhaps an official first lady. Gosh, well, all of this comes, of course, as uh, Valérie Trivaillère, who we can now talk about, right. uh, was on a publicity tour of the United Kingdom. Uh, she's, of course, written that tell-all book called Thank You for the Moment. There you go. And that is, uh, it's also uh, Gracias por este momento. It has mm. been translated into many, many languages, uh, Tom. And indeed, it will be the front cover of uh, the Sunday, of the, of the Times magazine this Saturday. She also spoke to the BBC. So it's been a, a big week uh, in the UK in terms of rolling out uh, that uh, best-selling book with headlines such as this, Hell hath no fury like a French first lady scorned as she is to tell all on betrayal but the thing is didn't she already tell all on betrayal so it's sort of unfortunate for uh, the Elysee Palace communications people that this story is coming back again with all of the details that we've already seen uh, such as what was it the 29 text messages a day this has all come out months ago in the French press and now we're seeing it coming out again in the the British press and indeed perhaps wherever she ends up going on that book tour so certainly not the best news for Francois Hollande and as the Telegraph says it has caused incalculable damage to him. All right, thank you very much indeed for that uh, gossip-filled <laughs> media watch. Gossip correspondent. James Creedon, thank you so much.
what better way to end a Friday, a working week? Well, it's time now for Focus here on France 24. We're going to turn our eye to Iran. This says nuclear talks continue in Vienna between the Islamic Republic and six world powers. Talks which are right down to the wire as their Monday deadline looms. And there are, of course, suspicions on both sides. The West saying it needs more proof that Tehran's nuclear ambitions are peaceful. Well, our France 24 team was given...